Hey guys, I'll do a quick video for all the users on 10.2. Uh, this is going to go well with my BlackBerry video that I just posted or that should be up by now with 10.2. Uh, so what we are going to do is basically get focus, well, face focus for you guys and uh, it's a little additional little feature that you should have in your camera. I'm just pretty surprised when they didn't have one. And um, with the new uh, clock system and alarms and stuff like that, now you get the vibrate option as well. Previously, you had no vibrate option, which is sort of bittersweet, but uh, you get two new features, and it's all bar files. That's the greatest part. So links in the description for the bar files, and I'm going to go through everything for you guys right now. So what we are going to do is make sure uh, development mode is turned on on the device and how do we do development mode simply swipe down go to settings in settings we go straight down to security and privacy or privacy and then go down to development mode and sure development mode is turned on uh, i'm going to use um, the black the google chrome browser just because DDPB is giving a lot of trouble uh, with the 10.2 update, but uh, we're going to do the Google Chrome browser uh, silo. So this is on, and if it's not on, what's going to happen, it's going to prompt you for a four-letter code. Uh, just put in your four-letter passcode, I'll just put in mine quickly. Well, it's not four letters, it could be 5, 10, 15, whatever your development code was. And that's pretty much how you turn on development mode. And if you did it correctly, what you would see, it's in your inbox, you'd see development mode is turned on. You'd get that little notification right there. So anyway, so, and then you, what you're going to do next is basically ensure the Wi-Fi is on as well. And uh, connect it to your BlackBerry. And then you're going to head over to... Uh, your Chrome browser, and if you haven't seen my video on how to sideload using Google Chrome, uh, go check that out. And for a lot of people who wanted to know what the IPv4 uh, code is, all you gotta do is just scroll all the way down to network, and oh wait, in network, and all you will see it's the IPv4. And if it's the Wi-Fi you're gonna use, if it's the USB, just put in that one, and if it's Wi-Fi, just put in this one right here. So, USB, Wi-Fi, doesn't matter, I put in all of them. Anyways, so let's go over to Google Chrome. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, so the most important thing that I want to let you guys know, this is mine, but it's going to be different for every single one. However, if you if you, if you you are going to use the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi method, meaning like the Wi-Fi network is going to be on and you're going to silo through Google and stuff like that, you don't need to connect it to your BlackBerry phone. I just do that just to make sure. You guys don't have to do it. But uh, just if you want to just be safe and play it safe, just do it. But you don't necessarily have to connect it to uh, your device. So uh, back to the video. So now uh, if you are in Google Chrome, all you got to do is just put in those codes that I showed you there. And these are my codes. It's going to be different for you guys. So put in the codes that I just showed you right inside of this box right here and I just showed you how to get the network codes and just save them and uh, once it's saved it's there forever so you don't have to worry about that for me I always just click on the first one for some reason it works really well and uh, if it doesn't work really well for you oh yeah you got this little page as well so we're gonna hit proceed and uh, there we go so it's gonna ask me for my passcode and it's gonna be the same developer code that you entered so mine is four letters i don't know what your your passcode is but uh, well password is but pretty much that's it so uh from there what we're gonna see is basically uh basically everything that's in the blackberry uh phone like all the information stuff like that so now all you gotta do it's provided that you just downloaded the two bar files link in the description down below all you gotta do is basically uh, copy these two suckers right here. Oh, wait, that's the three. Okay, so let's do that again. So these two suckers, and drag and drop. Easy. Like, seriously, come on. We could all do this. Uh, <clears throat> not sure why it's not showing up on my browser, but whatever, you're going to see everything done right here. And within a couple seconds, you see the first file is installed, <clears throat> and it would get out of the queue. Hopefully, you should see like uh, out five percent. Okay, so I'll just like 
probably speed this up or just leave it so you guys can see how it looks so you could probably get the same exact thing. This video is going to be up before 10.2 so this should motivate you guys to go get go look at my video for 10.2 and all that uh, stuff as well. Um, so that's the first one. Now we're just waiting for the camera bar file. And success! So I'm going to pan back to uh, my device. Okay guys, so let's check it out and see what's going on up in this thing. So add an alarm. Boom, there we go. We could add a uh, vibrate mode now. So that's there. Um, so we'll exit that. So previously we never had that. I should have shown you guys that before, but anyways, now we got that. And I believe the other one was inside of the camera application. So I'm going to just hit the camera button. And there we go. Face focus. Go check out anyone on on okay, anyone on other websites and I'm pretty sure they don't have the face focus. So this is the first uh thing that I'm probably going to give uh you guys to give out. Yeah, I know. My table is really dusty. I can't get to the back of it. So uh don't judge me for <laughs> the dusty table. But anyway, pre that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Uh, be sure to go check out all my videos. I got a ton of videos coming out, probably like eight in the next couple days. But uh, this is Agent Juicy. Hit the like button. Go try this little trick out. It only works for BlackBerry 10.2. So be sure you got that upgrade. And uh, as always, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is Agent Juicy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.